Next up, let's talk about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are your main fuel source as an athlete because the majority of field sports and team sports and lifting and all the things that require a lot of energy are high intensity and explosive work. Now fats can be a great and very dense source of fuel, but they require a lot of oxygen and time to be able to digest. Whereas carbohydrates are broken down very quickly. Now the way you wanna think about carbohydrates is it's like you have Legos. Every single carbohydrate, no matter how big or complex the Lego structure is, gets broken down into individual Lego pieces. Now, even though everything is broken down into those individual monosaccharides, there's disaccharides, which are groups of two of those. So sucrose, for example, is glucose and fructose together that combine and make simple sugars. Now, you've probably heard of fast carbohydrates and slow carbohydrates, and that simply talks about how quickly they're digested. Slow digesting carbohydrates are groups of longer chains of these monosaccharides and disaccharides that are grouped into things called polysaccharides. Now these are starches and things that, are, that take longer to digest, but ultimately they always get broken down into these single units that are used by the body because the body can't use anything more than a single Lego. So the quick digesting carbohydrates are things like sugar and processed foods that are readily absorbable and they're quickly used by your body. It takes much less energy to break two Legos apart than it does to break apart a thousand or two thousand. Now all this means that it just takes longer for your body to digest that, which can be a good or a bad thing. If you are in a competition or you need energy right away, and let's say you're in the middle of a marathon or you're about to go train, you don't want to wait for a long time for your body to digest that. That's why simple sugars are great in and around training sessions because they're gonna help you fuel for that session and recover from the work you just did. But if you're not working out, having these simple sugars puts a lot of stress on your body because when we break down these carbohydrates into glucose, this single monosaccharide that our body pulls over, that gets put into the blood. And our body works really hard to try and maintain a consistent level of glucose in our blood with the hormone insulin. And now if we have, if we digest something, and this is, let's say we drink a, a sports drink and all that glucose gets absorbed and goes straight over into the blood, our body will release the hormone insulin from the pancreas and that will direct that glucose into the muscles or wherever it needs to go. Now, if we're working out, that's great because we're gonna take that glucose and put it right into the muscles to be used or to replenish what we just used. But if we're not, it's gonna get stored in fat cells or in the liver where it's just gonna sit there until we use it. And you can see how over time this leads to excess body weight because if we're not using this stuff and we're just storing more and more of it, that's when we start to build up an excess fat store that's not gonna be beneficial for our body. So the way you wanna think about this is you want to be able to time and eat your carbohydrates with purpose and intention. Now, there's a lot of people that talk about a low carb diet, but for athletes and kids that are growing, you don't want to avoid any single macronutrient group. They all have value and a lot of the fiber and the nutrients that come through vegetables are in the form of carbohydrates. You don't want to avoid that. You just want to think about when you want to use that well. So if you're getting up and you're going to school or you're at work and you're sitting down all afternoon, you don't need to have a big bowl of oatmeal to get you geared up and ready to go and you don't need to be drinking sugary soda drinks. But that doesn't mean that carbohydrates aren't beneficial. Having things like slower digesting carbohydrates or starches can be great because they take longer to digest or are higher than fiber. Fiber is another form of carbohydrate, but it's one that we humans can't digest. Herbivores have bacteria in their stomach that allow them to digest and break down these dense cell walls, the cellulose that forms these plant cell walls, that we just can't. And that's okay, because that allows us to actually keep things moving through our GI tract. So fiber is a very important part of keeping our body healthy. And our body, the GI tract, is made up of millions and billions of bacteria. So there are a ton of bacteria living in our cells and on our skin everywhere around us. And if we don't feed those things in a way that allows them to stay healthy and, and, and flourish in our body, they'll get replaced by bad bacteria. And that causes all kinds of problems that can be very difficult to treat or get rid of. So having fiber feeds the good bacteria that we want. We want to support that healthy part of our GI tract and immune system. Final note on carbohydrates is though vegetables are carbohydrates, you do want to think about them a little bit differently than you would think about fruits or grains. Now, fruits are healthy, but in the amount that we can tend to eat them in, let's say, a shake or a smoothie or just having a bunch of fruit at once or in juices, for example, that's a lot of fructose that our body was never really used to trying to digest. And so that can be difficult and have a similar insulin spike that per se having a soda would. 
So we want to avoid things like liquid forms of juice and things like that. And that doesn't mean that sh shakes and smoothies are bad because there is fiber and there are benefit in them. But it does mean that we can easily overdo the amount of sugar that our body would have ever expected to get. On the other hand, when you look at grains and starches, they can get absorbed quickly. So you think about like cereals, rices, corn, stuff like that. They can get absorbed quickly and they don't always have enough fiber to slow that down. And they don't always have the same nutrient density that you would see from, let's say, uh, broccoli or spinach. Now those are beneficial, but you want to use those, including bread and pasta, all those things around when you're working out, because those are going to be a little bit quicker digesting that are going to be used for energy. Now the slower digesting ones like vegetables, those are going to be great at to fill out the other meals. To sum this up, carbohydrates are incredibly important, including vegetables and carbohydrates that are used primarily for energy. Now keep in mind that they're gonna make the biggest volume of your overall energy when you're eating, but they may not make the biggest volume of your calories. For instance, the same amount of beef is gonna have much more calories than the same amount of volume of space of broccoli. Now that's okay, but you wanna think about 50 to 75% of your plate being made up out of these vegetables and starches, especially when you're forming a healthy, nutritious diet.